Hey guys, how's it going? That's what I mean. <laughs> Welcome back from the MLG offices in New York City! I was about to tweet. Do I have time to tweet? I don't know if I do. Um, okay. <sighs> this is a good one, guys. This is a good one. This is a tasty treat. I have to tweet. I'm sorry. Innovation versus Sun. Next, or er, live now. MLG. Dot TV slash SE2. Go, go. Uh, w, w, Western Wolves versus Acer. And Innovation just took down Daisy. And now it's Innovation versus San. So to kind of recap what's going on, guys, Acer Team Story Cup. This is Western Wolves versus Acer. Western Wolves is number one. Acer is number three in the Acer Team Story Cup. To start things off, we had MMA takedown check. Then we had Daisy come in and say, MMA, I can make Blink Stalkers and I will crush you. Then Innovation said, you know what? I'm taking revenge for my Terran brother. So now Acer is up two to one. But we got a challenger in the mix, a challenger entering the ring. One of the best Protoss players in the world. In the bottom right hand location back on Waste. He is the Joker, the wild card, some might say, for Western Wolves. He is San. Opponent in the top left hand location, the blue Terran player, the terror of the East. One of the best players in the world, without a doubt, he is Innovation. Oh man, you guys better be as excited as I am. I just tweeted. I just tweeted, Innovation versus Son Live now. Boom. You guys better go retweet that. If you don't, I will be insulted. Just kidding, I won't be insulted. Um, by the way guys, check out Check out uh, MLG.TV right now. MLG.TV. Go check out the new MLG player. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty sexy. Maybe go type a little bit in the chat. Shout out to Samuel G. Pelletier, a.k.a. Renegade Pizza, who chatted in the chat on the MLG website under MLG.TV slash SE2. Of course, you can cycle through the tabs at the top there between Black Ops, Dota 2, StarCraft 2, Optic Gaming. Go to StarCraft 2, that's where I am. That's where you should be. Sexy quality. Okay, as I'm just ignoring the screen, y'all wanna watch what's going on? Are you sure? Are you sure you wanna watch what's going on? I guess I'll show it to you. Okay. All right, here we go. So, innovation versus song. Let's get into it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Thank you for joining me and watching some Acer Team Story Cup on the Major League Gaming stream. Always a pleasure bringing this coverage to you guys. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Maybe you just woke up. It's great. You got a ring around the Rosie. The Zealot and the SCV, the Reaper, trying to peck away at the Zealot. But the Militia Corps is here to help out. And the Zealot should be fine. Innovation's bunker finishing right on time. Good guys, Innovation versus San. Acer currently up 2-1. What will we see out of Innovation? Last game was fairly standard. Innovation played it very safe. Was able to fend off that. Colossi Blink Stalker all in. Ooh, fanciness. Stargate. Stargate from San. So I don't know if y'all caught it. We were tasking the uh, XMG Pro Invite, and San ended up winning the thing. And he loved using the Oracle. Because it got... Blizzard is thinking about making it a little bit faster. And San pretty much used that Oracle throughout the entire tournament. And took it fairly convincingly. So it looks like he will go for an Oracle once again. His build order is interesting. He, adds, he gets a Nexus, then he gets a Gas. Then he adds on a Stargate and a Forge. It's pretty cool. Skipping the Robo. Reaper darting in here. He's going to see... Oh, did he see the Stargate? He did. Wow. Oh, that's a little bit of a mistake for San. I mean, you don't want to... If that Stargate's in the very back, you don't want a Reaper getting that far. Like a Stalker here would be nice, a Stalker here. Because the only way you can get in is through the front. Right here. So, a little bit of miscontrol there from San. He's going to be a little bit frustrated about that. So now the Oracle is going to be known about. Now, the Oracle can still be pretty effective. And my question is, where does San go from here? Does he add on a Robo? Is that what he does? Just now starting Warp Gate. That seems a bit late. Is that late? Yeah, that's really late. He forgot Warp Gate. Oh, Son. 
Yikes. He's going to have to make some... He might even make some units out of these gateways, honestly. A couple sentries. I don't think it was on purpose. I don't think he delayed Warp Gate for that long on purpose. I'm not entirely sure, though. He might have. Okay, Oracle Soup not in here. There are already Marines here. From Innovation. Getting ready. To receive this attack. Here we go. San poking in, seeing those Marines, and then backing away. From here, just glorified scout innovation. Going up to that starport, engineering bay. Already starting up with a plus one weapons upgrade. Churning out a bunch of Marines and Marauders. Here we go. San coming to the middle. Only three Marines here. Going to activate the Pulsar beams. Taking out those Marines, those Marines one by one. Oracle's was pretty darn good, but there's a lot of Marines there. San with some fancy micro, though. He's going to get away straight to a high Templar archive. That's pretty cool. You got that pretty darn fast. Also getting charge. So... Is this going to be... He might go for fast storm. I feel like this is more... Hmm. He might go for fast storm. I mean, Archons, obviously, are going to be great. So that might be the main thing. It might be dependent. Like, if he feels scared about a push, he might forego the storm a little bit and just only have the High Templar Archives for making Archons. Oracle still sneaking in here. Of course, if he feels like he's going to be safe for a bit, he's going to be like, all right, I'll start Storm. But then that's a lot of gas using on Templar. And right now, you kind of want to spend use your gas on the more mid-game upgrades. Like, Storm is more considered mid-late game, whereas right now we're in the early mid-game slash mid-game. So what's more important with that gas is sentries, upgrades on the Forge, upgrades on the Twilight Council. Um, so Templar Archives might be just in case, just in case thing. You know, you can use it for feedback. Oh, did, did Innovation see... Innovation saw the Templar Archives. That's actually a really good scout. And there's the, there, there we see an Archon being made. Just being safe. Will he keep any of them alive? No. Two Archons. So, I don't think this is going to be a push. He's still making probes, but we're getting about the time where he might take a third base. Because generally you get you get some fancy tech out, like Colossi or something, or Storm, or I guess Archons. And then you try to take that third. But he also knows that it's very likely Innovation might be pushing out. Because the push hasn't happened yet, and what Terran doesn't push behind a few medevacs. Now Storm is just underway. That Oracle, speeding away from those Marines. Okay, let's see what happens here. It's a lot of stuff coming forward from Innovation. Is San prepared for this? He has plus one armor, plus two armor about to finish. Meanwhile, Innovation's only at 0-1, get, about to get 1-1. One, one. So it's going to be fairly even as far as that's concerned. Keeping one High Templar alive for Psystorm. Ghost Academy not yet being made here. Wow, Innovation just going up to a billion barracks. Adding on an Armory Engineering Base so we can keep the upgrades going. Getting that third command. So that probe is like, you, no way, man. I'm not letting you land on my face. And that probe's gonna die, poor little guy. Command center will drop. But here comes San. I don't know about this. We'll see. This is a nice little threatening attack. Innovation gonna back up. He did not expect this. That's a lot of charge lots. Keep in mind, San making a third base behind this. This game is about to get very fast paced. Oracle finishing up. We have about, oh my god, nine medevacs. Lots of Marines and Marauders. There are two High Templar here. I'm not sure if Innovation was able to scan that. So Innovation's like, where is he coming from? He sees his rocks being attacked. He sees a zealot at the front door. Look out for the storm. High Templar coming up. Innovation gonna know about that. Ghost Academy should, should come down any second from Innovation. He's gotta start preparing for that storm stuff. Because the storm stuff can be crazy and scary. Behind this, we've got a Robo Bay on the way. So San eventually thinking about going into Colossi production. I love the Warp Prison being added on. Here we go, Guardians just going down, Archon's coming for the High Templar, trying to get in range and throw down a storm, a great storm there! Hitting a lot of the Marines and Marauders, Innovation gonna back up. Ghost Academy, where are you? The longer you delay that Ghost Academy, the scarier storms will be as the game goes along, unless you have crazy micro. Innovation does have crazy micro though, so... Might be like, alright, you know what, storm, I can just dodge it. Why, why would I care about Ghost? Run away. But I kind of like this, that whole push. Like, obviously, San wasn't looking to kill his opponent, just looking to apply pressure, taking advantage of the fact that he had Storm. His opponent couldn't really do much about it. 
Um, more importantly, behind that, taking two gases, getting a third base, also researching range. He's got a robo, gonna add a second ro robo, gonna go to double Colossi production. But there's a timing here before Colossi can get out where Innovation might be able to do some scary stuff. But again, he doesn't have Ghost, so he always has to worry about Storm, which is gonna be an issue. But that's a lot of medevacs. So he might try to do some drop play, which could be fancy. San is thinking about that. He's like, okay, I'll put a High Templar in my main. He's got a cannon there. Uh, has a High Templar and three results over here. Cannon here. Great, great moves. Okay, might have an engagement here in the middle of the map. There we go. Innovation is like, all right, that's a storm. I'll just dodge it. Another storm placed down. Hitting a lot of those Marines and Marauders. Innovation is saying, okay, I'll dodge that too. Colossi coming out. There are There is a High Templar here with Storm. Zealot on the high ground. War Prism has been made. And that's got two cheeky zealots inside. There is a turret at this at this base. Going to drop those two zealots. Going to back up. Innovation. Probably going to send his reinforcements to deal with that. Sending two medevacs in that location while still trying to apply pressure to the front door. But guess what? Colossi is trying to get on the field. We're close to range being finished. And once that finishes, Son is going to be very comfortable indeed. I love how he's buying himself time with this war prism. Warping in more stuff. we got a bunch of zealots warped in. So Innovation could have to worry about that. Which means he can't necessarily be aggressive at the front door. Son also trying to take his opponent off guard with a high Templar storm. But... Innovation able to spot that guy and take him out. High Templar's lurking. Two more Colossi about to pop out, and that's going to be great. There's no Vikings here. I think Innovation's timing might be gone. All he has on Marines Marauders, she is max, but he's actually having a bit of trouble with that Zealot drop in the main, peeling off some units to deal with that third. High Templar coming forward, looking for a storm, and now we got two Colossi out. A third one's about to come out, too, and Son has range. If Son loses his third base, it will be not a good thing. He definitely has the army advantage here. He has Storm, he has Colossi, his opponent only has Marines and Marauders. Innovation coming forward, trying to split up those units. San, no, he cannot lose his third base. There is no excuse for that. And Innovation takes it out. He's gonna be fist pumping all over the place. And San is gonna have to remake that. Again, he has three Colossi, his opponent doesn't have Vikings, but San not willing to take a fight to save that third. He's gonna have to remake that. Innovation gonna be happy. Still no Ghost Academy, but he's adding on a Starport. Two Starports now. Where's the Ghost Academy? Come on, Innovation. Where's your Ghost Academy? He's like, I don't need it. I don't need my Ghost Academy. Big drop in the main base. Storm going down, hitting a lot of these Marines and Marauders, also doing a lot of damage to those medevacs. Song going to take an engagement here in the middle of the map. Innovation going to back away. This was just a distraction. His main force all in the main. Targeting down the High Templar Archives would be great here, and that's what he's going for. Going to kite away from these Zealots. He can still pick up. Not targeting down the High Temple Archon. He's going to keep that alive for now. Taking down the uh, the Archon. Colossi coming forward. A little bit of a misclick there from Son. At the same time, Son attacking across the map. But Innovation is a great wall of China. Right here at the top of his natural expansion. He's going to be just fine. Son's going to back up. Third getting remade. Innovation's on three bases. He is a happy camper right now. Adding on a fourth. Ooh, that guy almost died though. Better repair him. High Temple Archive still alive. There's the Ghost Academy. So, San still has a tech advantage. He should take a fourth right here, I think. I think that'd be a good move. Um, he's been having trouble dealing with these drops. He has six supply to work with. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of supply to actually defend that. That attack at his main. So he's gonna try to trade some here. Attacking with Zealots, Stalkers, Colossi. This isn't gonna be a game ender, but it is a very big fight indeed. Vikings targeting down the Colossi. Nice storms there from San. Hitting a lot of those medevacs. And again, the ghosts aren't out just yet for innovation. Gonna back up, get in his bunker, lower the supply depot so his units can get by. San not wanting to advance up that ramp. Gonna send some units to try to deal some damage to that command center. Meanwhile, High Templar Archive is getting targeted down here by Innovation. Some Zealots being warped in, but a very nice pickoff there. He's gonna have to remake that. Meanwhile, San, I don't know about this, attacking into the natural storms going down onto the Marines and Marauders and the Vikings again. No ghost, so Innovation has no answer. SCVs being pulled. Trying to take some damage, but only Colossi remaining. No supplementation, but here comes some Zealot Warpins from San. The Vikings cleaning up those Colossi, though, and this drop still being annoying. What? San. GG. I don't know why he GG'd so fast. Hit two Colossi back here. Two Colossi back here. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah. I guess he just couldn't handle that drop. So, very interesting ending to that game. Innovation, taking out San. Let's look at some stats while we wait for Lennox to get back so he can switch it back over to me we can go to a break. Um, let's look at this graph here. Let's go to the graph. I always like to go to the graph. Yeah, uh, that was a weird ending. 
That was a weird ending. Um, since Son lost the third, I think he felt pressured to get damage done, and he wasn't able to get as much damage done as he would have liked. Um, also, the drop in the main probably fl might, might have flustered him a little bit. But let's look at these stats here. Army value. Getting up there. Let's see. Yeah, it was relatively even arm, uh, army values throughout. And honestly, when the army values are similar like this, like, you have to look at the tech. And, and San had Colossi and Ty Templar with Storm. So I felt like he might have been in a better position, but I guess he felt pretty far behind. Um, look at that resource collection rate. Just dropped at the end there for innovation. I don't know. Strange game. Very strange game. Very strange game indeed. I'm still trying to piece that together in my mind, but the point is innovation taking out Son, which means Acer is going to be up 3 1 against Western Wolves. Guys, game five is coming up next. Western Wolves is, is going to have to send someone out to face off against innovation. We're going to find out who it is after a quick break. You're watching the Acer Team Story Cup. My name is Axel Toss. Don't go anywhere.